welcome to the part one of the season two in which we are discussing previous years mcqs from net environmental science so let's begin the lesson first question is what does the term b10 implies in environmental science so here are the options and the correct option is b10 in environmental science this terminology means blending of 10 percent biodiesel with 90 percentage of conventional diesel so that makes the b10 that is b10 diesel so keep remember 10 percent biodiesel with 90 percent conventional diesel let's move on to the second question the second question is the validity period of environmental clearance after environmental impact assessment is least for which of the following projects so this eia the validity period of environmental clearance is least for which of the following options and the options we have mining projects river valley projects category b2 projects and area development projects the correct answer is option d area development projects so we'll see what are the validity period of different kinds of project under environmental impact assessment for mining project we should remember 30 years is the validity period of environmental clearance after the eia has been conducted similarly for river valley project the duration is 10 years and all other projects come under five years the thing is in the previous question the option was given category b2 project and this category b2 projects for this kind of project there is no eia that is environmental impact assessment is carried out so this question also has been asked several times with different kind of twists and turns so we should remember no eia is done for category b2 projects let's move on to the third question the third question is in environmental assessment study interpretation and evaluation should consider which of the following options and the correct answer will be all of the above yes uncertainty of possible impacts significance of measured impacts and comparing all the alternatives for any environmental impact assessment is required in eia to study and interpret the evaluation of environmental assessment so the option correct here will be all of the above next move on to the fourth question this question is also dealing with environmental impact assessment which is one of the important topic as per set and net environmental science is concerned so here it, the question asks who are responsible for the public consultation process in eia so what are the bodies in option a there is state pollution control board option b that is state pollution control board and district collector or option c state pollution control board and central pollution control board chairman or the last option state pollution control board and civil society so think about the answer and the correct answer is state pollution control board and the district collector are responsible for public consultation during the eia process of any project so next move on to the fifth question the fifth question is actually a as the following in which list a one is dealing with types of environmental auditing environmental performance evaluation environmental labeling whereas the list two is having the series code of international organization for standardization that is iso so we should match with the correct iso code with the list one options so the answer is here so the life cycle assessment series is having the code iso 14040 whereas environmental auditing series is having the code iso 14010 environmental performance evaluation is having the code iso 14030 and environmental labeling series that is eco labeling and all comes under the series of iso 14020 so the international organization of standardization is having these kind of codes for these kinds of systems next move on to the sixth question sixth question is which statement is not correct for hazardous waste here we will see it is mentioned not so be careful option a says they contain one or more of 39 toxic compounds option b they catch fire easily option c they are non-reactive and stable or option d they are capable of corroding metal containers so we know hazardous waste can fire catch easily and they are also capable of corroding metal containers and they contain one or more of 39 toxic compounds so the option which is not correct is obviously the option c that is they are non-reactive and stable is the wrong option so these hazardous waste are reactive and they are very very unstable in nature next move on to the seventh question seventh question says which of the following article in indian constitution deals with the right to clean environment so here are the options and the correct option among all these four is option number c yes article 21 deals with the right to clean environment for any citizen of india under the indian constitution next move on to the eighth question eighth question is in y shaped energy flow model one arm represents herbivore and the other arm so we have to say the other arm represents what kind of tropic level consumer or producer 
So the options are carnivore, decomposer, omnivore, or secondary consumer. The correct answer is option B, that is a decomposer. So in both aquatic and terrestrial food chain, there are two kinds of arms in a Y shaped energy flow model. So we'll look deeply into this because many of the questions have been asked from this. So here we can see that this is a Y shaped model. So let's take an example of a plant where plants are eaten by herbivores and they are also eaten by decomposers when they are dead. So similarly, the decomposers are eaten by the predator and the herbivores are eaten by their predator. And these two separate chains originating from one ecosystem that is one plant that is the producer is one is giving to grazing food chain, the other one is giving to the detritus food chain. So these are the two arms and this makes the Y shape. So here one example is there, the plant is eaten by deer and the plant is also eaten by the termite when it is dead. Similarly, the deer is eaten by the lion and the termite is eaten by the aardvark. So let's move on to the ninth question. Ninth question is in which part of the atmosphere the momentum, the heat flux, and the moisture contained are conserved? So all the three things are conserved in which of the following part of the atmosphere? The correct answer is option A, surface boundary layer. So in surface boundary layer, all the three momentum, heat flux, and moisture content are conserved in the atmosphere. Let's move on to the last question. The tenth question of this lesson is what does the term globe stands for? So globe in environmental science, what does it represent? The correct answer is option C. Option C means the globe, full form of the globe is global learning and observations to benefit the environment. So this is the international organization which is now running over 120 countries focusing on environmental education and scientific research related to environmental science. So it was founded in the year 1995. So that's all for this lesson. Thank you and stay tuned for the second lesson. Tony finishes off in style, a magnificent strike into the crowd. India lift the World Cup.